ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Retro Rallycross Championship final race here at Lydon Hill. We've got Steve Cousins on pole position then. Oh, this could be an incredible race. We've then got Tony Lynch in second position. And then we've got Terry Moore in third spot in that mini. We've then got Simon Hart in fourth position. And Paul Smith will round out your five drivers. And there is a false start for Cousins on pole, and that is going to mean an extra... That's not going to... That's going to mean a penalty of some sort, I would imagine. So, it looks like he's going to be moved to the back of the grid here. As the penalty. So, was pole sitter... And now we'll start at the back of the grid. I guess the real positive here is that there is a massive clear opening to work with. Uh, if Simon Hart leaves that door open, then there's every reason to suggest he could still make a run in towards turn number one. But these drivers do not have a joker lap, so they can't take an extra joker like you normally have in rallycross. So here we go. It is race time then, so effectively that means Lynch is on pole position. He'll be loving it. And then we've got Terry Moore in that mini on the outside. He's got an absolute flyer of a start. Not quite as good as Lynch, uh, but it looks like Cousins already moving there his way up into P3. Yes, we do. And as we come then into Chesson's drift for the first time, Lynch is actually have got very much caught on the apex there. Gets sideways on the exit. Cousins then into the gravel on the outside. He is absolutely fine. He's furious with himself for the jump start, but he is trying to rectify that as soon as possible. But Terry Moore is going to be able to drive away here Three wheels in the background, though, for P2. Cousins on three wheels. And Terry Moore, then, drive away, Terry, in that mini. Drive away. A big chance here to go out and take victory. This is going to prove to be a fantastic race. Only four laps for this one. And will Terry Moore be able to hang on? I would imagine you're going to see P2 here and Cousins take the joker lap. Through, then, the final chicane as they come across the start-finish line. And neither of them have decided to do so. And of course they wouldn't, because there isn't jokers in this. They have to race on circuit. So Terry Moore then holding on to that very slender lead. You can see the Cousins is just shaping up for that opportunity. And there's a bit of car flying off there. That's not ideal. And Cousins just biding his time. Feel like he could have dived up the inside if he wanted to there, but decided against it. And with, what, two laps remaining here, every opportunity to indeed get that job done. So Terry Moore... He's got to try and make that Mini very big. He's got to make it as wide as possible. It's probably the worst size car ever to be able to try and make as big as possible and defend a lead. But, well, we are going to witness Terry Moore try and do that. That's for certain. Cousins then just in behind, very, very close. We know that out of Chesson's Drift, he's going to be super, super fast. But is he going to be fast enough, though, to try and get a little bit of an inside edge and make a move? for the lead of this race. Here we go then. And now is the dive coming? No, not again. So second time of asking. No dive up the inside. On the exit of the Devil's Elbow. Not quite close enough either to make the move here once again. And Terry Moore lives to fight another day. One more lap to go. Down Harry Hill we will come. Down to the Paddock Bend we will come. And there will be one lap remaining. Moore going very defensive through there though. Means he's going to be sluggish on the exit through the gravel section in towards that chicane as they cross the line and Cousins then still very very close the closest he has been so far and we know that on the exit here he is super super fast he's tried twice before he's got stuck on the gravel there though not sure there is the opportunity can more hold on this time no Cousins is a lot closer for sure he's ahead as we come then through the devil's elbow onto three wheels can more find a bit of magic here and maybe find an opportunity to win this race up the top of harry hill we will come cousins oh he misses the apex there more may maybe could have had an opportunity up the inside but tried to go around the outside down harry hill we come in towards paddock bend a late dive potentially cousins surely he's going to run wide here no gets it nice and neatly through through the gravel section we go a bit of mini there falling off the car but across the line and the checker flag is taken by cousins wow 
Yeah, the jump start had to go to the back of the grid and then went from last to first. Sensational drive then from him. Tony Lynch will finish in P3. It will be Simon Hart then in P4. Or well, Smith in P4 and Simon Hart in P5.